Hey guys, uh, recording on Sunday, because I totally want to do that. Um, yeah, it really kind of sucks. And I'm already getting incoming scan data. I already know the next weapon I need to get is the X-ray visor. It's not really a weapon, but yeah, I need to go to Talon Overworld. Uh, I have to record today on Sunday, because um, tomorrow I'm going to be busy all day. Uh, I just got back from... Thingusville. No, I got back from Frankenmuth, Michigan, and why do the like controls seem to be really touchy? Like for me, I don't know what's going on. I sp just spent like half an hour fooling around with Audacity, trying to figure out why I couldn't get my voice to work, and then I realized my mic wasn't plugged in correctly. So that solved itself. Eh, whatever. Yeah, come on. There's pirates everywhere, everywhere. Like Cleveland from Family Guy says. Uh, die! Not in the mood to deal with pricks like you. I'm already having a horrible time and I don't feel like recording this. I can't lock on to anything either. Uh, will you freaking die already? Thank you. Alright, uh, now that I have the grapple beam I can always grapple back to, to this door. Where I just came out of in the last segment. And surprise attack from above! Hiya! And I kill you instantly, yay. Uh, still want to figure out the deal with, with this crane. I'd like to get it done if possible. Yeah, and now I realize there are power conduits, so. Yeah, now I can activate the crane and whatnot. I could have done it earlier, but there's no real need to anyway. It, I, it could have happened at any point. So, if you notice, there's a large spider ball track that's hard to miss that's located on the... <laughs> okay, that's where the missile expansion is. I didn't realize it was that simple. Uh, yeah, now I can head up this large spider ball track on the underside of the crane. And yeah. Oh, before I forget, which I most certainly will if I don't say it now, uh, is... Uh, Yellow Yoshi 11 wanted me to tell everyone that he has started a new thing on his channel called Challenge Me. Um, it's gonna be a thing where, uh, basically you challenge him to do anything at video games, but you have to give him a video of you doing it first so he knows it's possible. And then you challenge him to do the same thing, and he, uh, he may make a counter challenge towards you or whatever, but it's, it's a really cool concept in theory, and... Uh, I wanted to go places, so I'm gonna plug that here. I'll post another link in the description to his channel and possibly just a quick link to that playlist. So, yeah, that's pretty cool, and, uh, he's also a good friend of mine, so. Yeah, go check him out. I kinda already said this in one of the segments already, but, yeah. Now, is phase on a scan? I don't think it is. I know in the second game it is. So, yeah, um... I have marching band rehearsals all day tomorrow, so I can't record. And then, uh, Wednesday, I have a friend's birthday party to go to for 12 freaking hours. It'll be fun, but that means I have to record two parts on Tuesday. Or four parts, two recording sessions. So, now we're just heading up to, uh, Talon Overworld to go get the x-ray visor. And then I think we can go ahead and head to Magmore Caverns for the plasma beam already, I think. Yeah, it's cold face on. Cause now that we have the power bomb, I hate how you don't switch weapons on a dime like you did in the like original. Uh now that we have the power bomb we can get through that one door that I alerted to a few times like a few segments ago. Wait, can I kill this thing with the sap sack? That'd be pretty cool if I could. Eh, wasn't close enough. Yeah, that is kinda far away. Well not too far away, but I'm sure it wouldn't have worked anyway. Yeah, uh, only thing you missed. Wait, what is this thing here for? Yeah, uh, to get to the save station, I think it was last time, I just, uh, activated the spinner and it caused, like, this gate to go down, so that's all you missed. <laughs> There's an obvious plot discrepancy. Oh, and once you get the plasma beam, you can kill these things in one shot. It's pretty sweet. And God damn it, seedling. Die! I forgot if that's even what they're called, but I still need to climb higher into the Great Tree Hall. Eh. Eh. I fail. 
Shoot another one. Alright. At least you're dead now. After I get the x-ray visor, I have to get the plasma beam. I think that's- then it's already the phase on s no, it's not. I'm still missing a bunch of stuff. And I don't even know. I don't remember the order anymore. I have a guidebook for this, but I rarely use it. And I'm gonna be abusing the crap out of it once I need it for finding all the pickups and stuff. Because I'm skipping a lot of them, I'm aware. I've explained this several times already, so if you're watching it starting from part 27, then you're a loser. Um, also, there might be another video of mine coming out today, uh, if I can even get it to work. Uh, you'll- that's a surprise. Uh, that's the surprise! Hee <laughs> Okay, I hate getting up this time. What the- just happened? Is- what the- what is going on in Mexico? I love saying that, sorry. <laughs> um, am I supposed to get up there? I think I am. I can't say I'm a big fan of- uh, maybe I'm not supposed to get up there, but whatever. And we've got another power up immediately. And this is the x-ray visor. It's the last visor, it allows you to see through objects. Which is kind of what x-ray is. So, um... Yeah, if you look through like at these walls, uh, you'll see that it should be a dead end, but there's a stupid ceiling, my favorite. Uh, you'll also see that, well wait, hang on. Yeah, that ledge is way too high to get back up. Turn on the x-ray visor, and you can see that you can see through all of these walls, so. They're palmer ball, ball, I can't speak. They're power bombable, and once you power bomb one, all of the rest go down. I don't know how they did that either. Programming questions. I have a lot of them. All right, like I'm. There's a lot of questionable programming in this game. I don't know what's up with that. Like the clipping, and I don't know. Everything's so unresponsive today. I don't know if it's just me because I'm jittery for some reason or what. Uh, there are invisible platforms here. Or there's just completely visible platforms that it's pretty obvious I'm supposed to jump across. And ooh, my favorite, Chozo Ghosts. Uh, bad news, it's Chozo Ghosts. Good news, uh, oh, Yellow Yoshi 11 just came on Skype, yay. I'm totally going to mention in the episode he's going to watch later tomorrow. Yeah, but good news about this is you can actually see them now with the x-ray visors. Still not being helpful, though. You can just follow them until they actually die, so... I'm doing my... Oh, uh, God. Ugh. Oh, God, those hurt. I do not like dealing with these guys because it's, like, impossible to deal with multiples of them. Stop it! Fags. And yes, you are fags. I'm just hoping one of them will die so I can deal with the other two with some sort of easiness, I guess. Why are you dancing? He was, like, doing some weird dance. I can't really explain it. Can't hear the me- Whoa. Hi there. Yay, one of them died. Stop locking onto him. Let me lock onto the one that's alive. Uh, it sucks that I'm recording this today. I'm not in the mood to record anything. I think another one died good. Which means this one probably still has a good amount of health. Uh. Jeez. That, like, hit the branch. I thought it was coming right toward me. Speaking of things, like, wow, I thought it was coming right toward me, uh, Nintendo 3DS, I read a preview of it in this month's Nintendo Power, and the thing looks freaking sweet, I gotta say. That looks pretty awesome. Now you can get up there. There's a little morph ball hole under it, but, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, Kid Icarus is coming back. It has a lot of hardcore Nintendo fans grinning with delight, I guess. Uh, it's gonna be Star Fox, Kirby, all, all these awesome series revivals. It's gonna be cool. Wait, before I get into this little hole to get out of here, there's actually something I wish to get. 
Uh, if anybody's played Metroid Fusion and gotten some power-ups, you should know what this metal rod reminds you of. I, I don't know. It, it always reminded me of the things you had to bomb to get up to pl places in the water in Metroid Fusion. Oh wait, this is a spinner, right? Um, yeah, you get an artifact. I think it's the artifact of artifact of Chozo. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. Uh, and Yellow Yoshi's trying to text me. He'll probably be pissed that I'm not answering him back, but, uh. Uh, I can't get up there because I'm stupid and can't figure out how. He he he. <laughs> Alright, what, what, which artifact is this? Chozo artifact, okay. Hang on. Recording right now. So, <laughs> alright, this is the artifact of Chozo, blah 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 blah. And, yeah. Why do you have 80% of the logbook entries? Jeez. Uh, yeah. Now that I've gotten that, now I have to make the long trek back up, so. I could edit that out, because I've already shown this path before, but it doesn't really matter, I guess. It's not so unbearable, it's no reactor core. It, it is kind of annoying to get back up though. You have to just jump here, and then make a jump here. I can't really read what Yellow Yoshi sent me back. Um. Well, whatever. I'll just, just keep jumping. Not gonna make the reference I made before. Jumping, jumper, jumper, woo! Not gonna do that again, although I just did. Who cares? Hyper for no reason. <laughs> Gotta hit being hyper. Um, get in. Oh, all right. Editing time. We.